Hello and welcome to this video where I compare six classless or no class CSS frameworks and I will show you my favorites in the end. So the classless CSS framework, if you go to this repository, Deboden, classless CSS, you can find a long list of them here. And I have tried six of them. So I have tried the same HTML structure using these six frameworks and you will see the result. But what is a classless CSS framework? In a classless CSS framework, you do not define special classes for your elements. If you've used Bootstrap or Materialized CSS or other frameworks, you know to style a button, for example, you say button with a class of BTN or BTN large or primary or that sort of stuff. So you have to add classes to your elements. But here you don't. You just need HTML semantic tags, for example, footer, a button, um, article, header, and they will be styled. So in order to know how to um, use them, we can just go to one of them, for example, I don't know, this one, Holiday CSS, and under here you can find a, their uh, CDN, for instance, you can just copy this and put it in your HTML, and then you will have access to it. That's it. You can see the four kilobytes only. It's awesome. So I have used this structure, like let me show you here, and which has like a header, which includes a nav. You can see this is header. There's a nav with three items. Then I have an H1 with two buttons here, and that is my header here. And then I have a section with these bold italic and highlighted and a keyboard. Then I have three asides here. You can see a section with three asides here. Then I have a block quote, a collapsible, which is a detailed summary. As you can see this tag here, which is collapsible. Then I have another article, well, an article tag, as you can see, and inside the article, I have an aside, title, and then P tag, an image, which is terribly big. There is a caption here and a form, and in the end, I have a footer. So let's see how this will be styled if I use the CDN of the CSS frameworks. This is the first MVP CSS. As you can see, this was how it, well, the, without the framework and this is with the framework. I haven't done any changes to, to these tags. I haven't added any uh, classes, but this is what I get. So you have a header, you have a nav bar, then you can see it is centered already. You have two buttons which are centered because this is inside a header tag. These are another section. And if you have a section with asides, as you just saw, like here, there's three asides here, right? And let me show you. So I have a section with asides in it. Then MVP turns them into cards with this hover effect. So cool. Then you have this block quote with the author. And the collapsible is like that. Then we have an article. And inside the article, we had an aside. And the aside, when it's inside an article, is like this. If it's inside a section, it turns it into a card. Then the image, you can see it's been it's responsive and you have the caption as well. And the form has this outline. It's okay, it's uh, yeah, not bad. And you can see the footer in the end is here. So this is how it was styled. And you can see I have the same you see structure here, the only thing I've done is I have added this CDN here. That's it. Now let's see holiday CSS. So holiday CSS is simpler. You have the nav here with this line, centered headlines, and then buttons here. The asides have not been taken care of, nothing. Then block quotes, this is the uh, collapsible. Aside article, nothing. Well, the image is okay, responsive, and the caption is in the middle. Then you have a full width uh, form, which is okay. 
and you have a footer which is separated by a line here and in the middle that's nice bamboo this one is interesting look at this dark mode so you can choose between a dark mode and a light mode so here you can see this and then you have the heading you have the buttons here nothing is centered and i think that is one of the drawbacks maybe if you put something in the header you might want it to be centered then you have again a side nothing special they just look like paragraphs uh, black quotes like this a collapsible sides and articles simple the image and you can see everything is inside a container as well that's nice the um, caption and the form it looks also good but the footer is just there maybe it would have been nicer if there was some margin and maybe it was in the center as well but this is really cool that you have this dark mode and you can use it for blogging next one access this is also simple and you can see this is the nav then there is some uh, margin here you have the heading the buttons are like this and then again the sides are like simple you can see it's a bit wider than the others this is the collapsible nothing special the image is terrible it's not responsive at all so that is not nice then you can see the caption is just there and the form it also looks yeah ugly honestly yeah and the footer is here so nothing special i do not like this at all now water css which has received a lot of attention is like this and then you have a heading buttons are styled like so and again aside nothing everything is inside a container nice block quotes yeah there's some styling here for the details and summary uh, article and the image you see is a bit smaller it's nice the form is okay looks okay and the footer is also separated and it's nice it's okay and the last one which is my favorite is simple css look at this all of a sudden so if you have a header the header will have this kind of background with this border and if you put nav inside it with some a tags it will turn them into these hover effects and buttons awesome then you have these two as well if you have a section the section will be inside two lines like this will be separated and these are asides so i have three asides inside a section and it turns it into these cards just like for example here you saw this was so simple nothing special here right you have three cards just like mvp where you also had these cards so here with simple css you also have them although i liked uh, mvp for this then you have the um, blood quote you have a very nice collapsible and this is article tag look the article tags inside this rounded corner box and the aside has been put to the right floated to the right whereas if we use mvp you see the aside has been put here it's here whereas for simple css this has been put to the right and then we have an image with this caption in the middle cool then we have a very nice uh, form very nice radio buttons and a footer super nice in the middle with this line separating it okay now if i want to rank them i would say uh, this one simple css is my favorite then mvp is awesome but bamboo is great as well super cool with this dark mode for blogging it's really cool so i hope you liked it what is your favorite css framework let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and listening.